Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, Pisces, it's Dana. How the heck you guys doing? It's been a minute, been a good month, right? Let's do a monthly reading for Pisces. Let's do it, let's do a monthly reading for Pisces. Let's see what the cards have to say. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in, have a seat, snuggle up to the table. If you're coming back to the channel, of course, as always, thank you so much. All y'all subscribe because it makes a difference to my channel, it does. All right, let's dive in here. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out a whole bunch of cards. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you while I sew together a story, okay? Let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. What does this Pisces need to know? This particular Pisces, what do they need to know and understand what's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? <coughs> and how do they navigate? Ooh, right there. Everything for their best and highest good. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right, let's go. One, two, three. One. Oops. Two, three. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Wands in reverse and the Three of Cups and the devil in reverse and the hierophant oh the high priestess in reverse three of wands in reverse and that and that and that and that and that and that's where we'll stop okay that'll make hella sense to everybody in just a minute okay <coughs> allergies are kind of bad here because of hurricane rains so uh i'm gonna be kind of probably coughing on you a little bit okay Prince of Cups. First card out sets the tone for everything. The Four of Wands. The King of Wands in reverse. So comfort, safety, King of Wands in reverse, the Tower in reverse, averting disaster maybe, or, or healing. <coughs> the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Swords in reverse, the Two of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Cups in the center of the reading, and the Wheel of Fortune. Fantastic. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Wands. The Ace of Wands in reverse, the Prince of Wands in reverse, in the upright, I'm sorry, and the Emperor. Judgment in reverse, the Princess of Cups, Six of Swords in reverse, the Prince of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Sun. Absolutely fantastic. Look to the Seven of Pentacles and the Lovers. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hold on a second. Let's make sure we're not missing anything right here. And we kind of are. There's a little bit of repeating there, but there's some meat and potatoes to be found in there. And we'll stop at the King of Cups. Okay. I'm going to clarify with the little guys today. I know y'all can't see this bottom row right here, but when I when I fast forward <coughs> in the shuffling, I will adjust this camera afterwards and you'll be able to see it all, okay? So bear with me here. All right, so the Prince of Cups. Let's see what the heck is going on there with the Prince of Cups. What is happening? What is happening? Look, the Page of Pentacles. All right, and the Banda and the Knight of Wands. Okay. So it's obviously some kind of message, some kind of opportunity. The Four of Wands um, for some kind of safety, some kind of long-term kind of stuff. And then the King of Wands in reverse to the Devil. King of Wands in reverse to the Devil to the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so someone's playing you. All right, the Tower in reverse. Is this about averting disaster? The Five of Swords, or you got played. Okay, maybe you got played in the past. Okay, and the Five of Swords, Mindset. Okay, Pisces, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, so the Prince of Cups, okay? Prince of Cups is someone that wants to get to know you, Pisces. Four of Wands, someone that has the potential to be steady, stable, secure, safe, uh, long-term kind of stuff. The Knight of Wands, engagement, 
and the Page of Pentacles, new opportunities. So there is some kind of new opportunity that is arising in your life, headed your way, okay? All right, all right. King of Wands in reverse. The Devil and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. However, this particular Pisces has got royally screwed in the past, okay? Whatever it is, if it's love, if it's a job, if it's a person, a sister, a brother, whatever, this Pisces has gotten screwed, okay? And the Two of Pentacles says that it keeps you off balance, okay? It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. The King of Wands in reverse, right? Holding on to something in your flesh is equating to some kind of lack of success in your life because someone who is egocentric, self-centered, and um, absorbed in themselves, right, did a number on you. They did. They did a number on you, and it has you off kilter to this day, all right? But there's a new opportunity that's coming, and this is going to stand in the way. The tower in reverse. Tower in reverse is about standing up and brushing yourself off three of pentacles right you tried to build in the past with someone look the tower right you you tried to build something with someone and it crumbled it crumbled you put your all of your heart and soul into it and it absolutely crumbled it ended in grief and sorrow and pain that you carry in your mind to this day tower in reverse tower in reverse says step away from the rubble stand up and realize that there was never a foundation by which to build this this life upon in the first place okay consider yourself lucky consider yourself as lucky to have dodged a bullet all right because you were investing in something that could not bear the weight of what you wanted to build in your life anyway but instead of realizing that you're carrying it all in your head with the three of swords Okay, the tower in reverse is an internal transformation because the tower crumbled, because we understand that the foundation wasn't there in the first place. Five of Swords says you got a white knuckle grip on a mindset associated with this tower moment. And I think the white knuckle grip on the mindset is, is the inability to open yourself to this new opportunity. All right, and the moon comes on top of it. Big, huge, gigantic, internal struggle. <coughs> Still struggling with it, with the moon in the upright. Still struggling with it. Your advice is the three of swords in reverse. Come to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain that you're holding in your mind up here. Two of swords in reverse and step over the crossroads. Stop being at a crossroads in your mind about whatever this is and however it went down. Nine of Cups, because everything you ever wanted is waiting for you. Yes, it is. Everything you ever wanted is waiting for you. Knight of Cups in reverse, but you continue to invest some kind of emotional energy into whatever this situation was for you. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, stuck in a place of, of upset, lost your title, got fired from your job, got a divorce, someone divorced you, someone rejected you somehow, some way. And you're stuck in that, stuck in that ego place with that devil card and the King of Wands in reverse, stuck in that place. To the Six of Swords in reverse, what I just say, stuck, mentally stuck in that place nine of pentacles in reverse it talks about a financial setback and yeah maybe it was a financial setback but it also talks about a waste of time it talks about how what you are investing in will not make the return for you and what you're investing in with holding all of this tower energy in your head is not it's a waste of your time strength says overcome it step over it overcome it don't succumb to it have the strength and the courage to see what it is that's going on here in your head and overcome it to the chariot and when you do when when you put in the self-control which is a big thing what's that that's controlling your flesh what's your flesh it's that devil right there it's an attachment that's a restriction to your growth what is your mentality about what about the tower that happened in your life 
It's a problem here, Pisces, and it needs your attention. Put in the self-control. Control your flesh and bones and understand that there's a bigger picture. There's a bigger picture. There's an eternal picture. It's not just this box of life. It's the eternal soul. Flesh and bone, eternal soul. Okay? This tower thing right here wasn't good enough. I don't care how much you wanted it to be good enough. That's the struggle of the moon. I don't care how much you wanted it to be good enough. It wasn't good enough. And for whatever reason, you chose someone that was incapable of giving you the kind of life that you want to share with someone somehow, some way. All right? All right. Put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what you got to do to leave this, recognize it, wrap it up, put it away, and leave it behind you because everything that you've ever wanted is in the center of your reading. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. That's where that chariot wants to take you. To the Ace of Cups. New love, emotional growth. I think it's new love with that opportunity up there. There is new love of some sort, okay? Could be career, money, finance, family, kids, dogs, pets, whatever. But there is new emotional growth. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction headed right at you in the center of your reading, the Wheel of Fortune. And we'll take you there. We want to take you there. The wheel's turning. We're trying to get you there, but they want whomever this is for. And if you want your cards read, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. But whoever this is for is standing in their own way because they are refusing to acknowledge that what they lost was not for them in the first place that they chose it out of their flesh and bone understanding of life and they have this white knuckle grip that it should have fucking worked and you know what pisces let go the wheel so we can move so we can take you where you need to go so you can move stop lamenting about the queen of pentacles in reverse i used to have that job i used to have that title i used to i used to i used to four of wands in reverse and now i don't and i'm upset about it to the Queen of Swords. Pull it together. Pull it together. Pull it together. Pull it together. Focus your mind on your future because living in the past takes you away from the present and you can't see down the road to step into your future. Okay? Serious mind control here with the Queen of Swords. It stops here today now. Queen of Swords says, I understand, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, that I cannot manifest the kind of life that I want to manifest doing what I'm doing right now. The ground is sour and I can't grow the, my, my seeds of prosperity in my life like this. Ten of Wands, right? Carrying the burden and the struggle, Ace of Wands in reverse, of the disappointment of this tower not working out, Eight of Cups in reverse, a situation that you need to leave behind, but you haven't. The Prince of Wands, inspired action to the Emperor. <laughs> That's what needs to happen here. Cut yourself loose from this, Pisces, because there is a Prince of Cups, Prince of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Prince of Wands, opportunity. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, opportunity with an emperor of some sort headed right towards you. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Clarifying that. I mean, that's crazy talk, Pisces. Teamwork and collaboration with a counterpart of yours. Somehow, some way, the two of you have the inspiration to build something together. Mm-hmm. The Emperor. Right on. <coughs> Judgment in reverse. But your self-doubt that is attached to the mindset, that is attached to the tower, is going to stand in the way. And they need you to clear it out because this needs to happen. Four of Cups. Contemplate and reevaluate. How are you going about doing things? Okay, because you're like, I don't, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. And the, <laughs> the hand of God is saying, No, you don't got this. Take the fourth cup, take it, see what's in it, because you don't got this. 
Princess of Cups. You need to be prepared. There's a new opportunity. There's a new invitation. It's everything. It's water, air, fire, and earth. It's all of the little guys of every suit giving you some kind of offer. <laughs> <coughs> giving you some kind of offer. Yep. Six of Swords in reverse, but your mental baggage, Prince of Pentacles in reverse that you're stuck in, Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in the past. Prioritize that shit. Balance it out, Pisces. Balance it out. Prioritize coming to terms with your past, okay? The Sun. Heal your wounded inner child and find the path to happiness, success, and vitality that the universe wants to rain down on you. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, because if you keep doing what you always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. To the lovers. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Align your frequency with universal order without expectations. Seriously. Because remember, you wanted this to happen, this tower. That's why you're holding on to it, because you didn't want it to happen, right? You didn't want that to happen, and you're holding on to it, and you're either pissed about it or hurt about it or devastated about it, and you think that you have compartmentalized it, but it's still occupying real estate in your subconscious mind that the new chapter of your life <coughs> needs to grow in, okay? That's what the lover's card is about. Frequency attraction, right? Align yourself with universal order. And, and the best relationship in the whole wide world is going to fall right in your lap. Yes. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Align yourself without expectations. Eight of Pentacles in reverse is about unmet expectations, right? And what was that? Well, I, I thought this was my soulmate. I thought this was universal order. No, it was your free will choosing something out of your own limited human understanding. That's what that was. This time around, allow the universe to show you the way to a significant, significant opportunity involving some kind of a relationship. Let's see, Prince of Swords in reverse, the Empress in reverse, <laughs> <clears throat> the Eight of Cups in reverse. That's all you lamenting about all of this up here. Repeating, right? But it was worth it. <clears throat> but it was worth it because now we have the Ten of Cups and Death in reverse. Inner purging. Purge this out of yourself. Clear the space. Allow an internal transformation to take root that will bring you to the Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups in the center of your reading to the Ten of Cups. To the King of Cups and the Six of Wands. Oh my gosh. Victory, progress, success. Emotionally mature, emotionally available relationship because of a huge internal transformation where you realize that what you're crying about doesn't make a hill of beans in the grand scheme of things in the first place because you picked that under false pretenses. You didn't know any better. The Alchemist on the bottom of the deck. Manifestation. Manifest what? The star. Your path and your purpose. The renewal of your life is right around the corner. Focus. Ah, bring it all heart center. Ground yourself and point your emotions, your mind, your, your inspirations, and your sense of, of security. And bring it all together and point it towards healing and receiving. Yes. Yes. Starts in your mind with the Queen of Swords. Temper yourself. Temper yourself. Temper yourself. Okay? Prepare yourself to be the Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. Temper yourself. Pull your shit together. All right? Three of Wands in reverse because what you're not seeing, High Priestess in reverse, is that you're wounding the Hierophant. Will, will impede upon your ability to step into universal order. Yes, it will. Death, the devil in reverse. Devil in reverse, again, just like that other devil up there, right? It's an attachment that's a restriction to your growth up there. Here, it's about releasing your limiting beliefs, detaching from your own toxicity of the wounded child in that sun card, okay? And, and, and freeing yourself 
three of cups so you can be in the right place at the right time to get what it is that belongs to you yes the five of wands in reverse stop avoiding the responsibility of coming to terms with the tower uh-huh take accountability and open yourself because there is an awesome awesome amazing opportunity coming at you but you will stand in your own way if you don't put the tower away once and for all i hope that helps someone namaste you are a soul having a human experience not a human having a soul experience you are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now while you listen to this. Your curiosity to even listen this far is evidence that you are curious and that you desire to know more. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and measure your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life. This book is part of my spiritual journey and its purpose is to plant the seeds of yours.